What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got, well I think it's the first Audi RS6 C8 with over 1000 horsepower. This is the RS6 by MTM. Now we've been coming to MTM for a long time, uh, dating all the way back to the beginning of Autotop NL in 2010 or 11. And well, we have a great relationship with them and they built some really, really cool uh, cars. So today I'm going to show you around this awesome RS6 and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. But before we begin, thanks to BOTB for sponsoring this video. They are the dream car competition company who now give away two cars every week in their dream car competitions and midweek car competitions. You can now also win 50,000 pounds worth of cash in the boot. And this week is extra special because for one week only they have added a tuned Audi RS6 to the mix. So you can now win an insane 740 horsepower tuned RS6 worth over 200,000 euros. And they've also included 50,000 pounds worth of cash in the boot. This is an insane price and it only costs a few euros to enter. You only have to be 17 or over to enter and you can play from all over the world. But you do have to hurry up because it is for one week only uh, until the 31st of January. My birthday, yay. Uh, now enjoy this 1000 horsepower Audi R6. Let's start with a walk around the car and well the spec is really cool. Again we've got that Tango Red just like with the RS7 we had a few weeks ago. Uh, I think it is a stunning color for this car, especially because you have all the black stuff around the car. MTM also added some striping in black with 1001 for the horsepower of course the wheels are really beautiful actually they are the mtm forged bimoto wheels and they well they fit on practically every car it is really crazy this wheel has been their signature wheel for a long time i just think it looks so freaking cool on this car these are 22 inch just like the standard wheel uh, 285 30 22 and well they are wrapped with michelin pilot sport 4s rubber also really good and we've got audi ceramic brakes of course yeah it is a really good spec and i really like these wheels on it uh, we've got another 1001 and a 30 years mtm sticker right there really nice to celebrate a recaro sticker down there uh, this car also has mtm uh, springs and it has an MTM exhaust. Now I know that at MTM you can also get a Miltec and or a Krapovich exhaust. Uh, I don't know which this is. Uh, maybe it's their own. Uh, it says MTM on there, uh, but it sounds really good. We've got a carbon fiber diffuser as well. Again, with that 1001 in there, really cool. MTM badge, absolutely love this car. Love it to bits. So let's take a look under here because we have the EA825 4 liter bi-turbo V8 engine uh, stock 600 horsepower 800 newton meters but as you know I'm not really a big fan of the stock setup because it's just not delivering the performance it should this MTM setup with bigger turbos a open air filter and a bigger air intake uh, the exhaust and a 300 cell catalytic converter downpipe this setup produces 1001 horsepower and 1250 newton meters of torque limited it also has a transmission uh, software update from mtm nice carbon fiber here with that logo looks really really cool now 1001 horsepower 1250 newton meters i think those are the same or almost the same numbers as a bugatti veyron yeah we've come a long way from uh, the bugatti veyron to now where you can have that same power in your estate car that is super crazy something to think of um, anything else i wanted to show you guys before we switch to the wide angle nope because let's see on the interior well <laughs> how crazy are these seats these are recaro podium seats 
Uh, they are all carbon fiber, as you can see, and they have that padding and they just look so freaking cool. I mean, the seating position is really good, but for longer journeys, of course, this is not as comfortable as a normal seat. But I do love the fact that MTM just says, well, this is a crazy RS6. You get some crazy seats if you want. So uh, you can actually order these for your RS6 at MTM. Uh, we've got MTM floor mats as well and a 30th anniversary badge on the center console. So we have a valve controlled exhaust and uh, well, it's closed right now, as you can hear. So little rev. I mean, it's pretty quiet. Um, you wouldn't say that this is a thousand horsepower RS6. Well, you would hardly say it's an RS6. Uh, let's switch to RS2 mode. Valves open, little rev. Yeah, it sounds really, really dark and angry. It's a really good sound. So on the interior, well, you've seen this all before. Let's get the RS monitor there for our tire temperatures and pressures. You can also check out other temperatures like engine oil, gear oil, brakes, sport differential, and you have a G meter, but we're going to go for the tires right now. And gearbox in sport. I think we're good to go. So we'll take it for a little drive. And for a change, we're going to go for automatic mode. So just a regular, no, we're going to go for comfort mode actually, comfort. So we're just regular folk on our way to our office, supermarket, garden center, playpen, I don't know, whatever. You're just driving along. It is super comfortable. It is super quiet. I mean, listen to that. I mean, it's still really fast, but it's, it's like so normal, comfy and quiet. I mean, it just, boggles my mind that this is one of the most two-faced cars I've ever driven. You know, if you put this in comfort, it's just a regular A6. It's not even RS6, it's just a regular A6. And when you put everything in full attack mode, it's just a crazy 1000 horsepower beast with an exhaust. And handles and, and power and everything is just really insane. She likes it too. <laughs> um, so you can hear that when you get over a certain amount of RPM, you get a bit more sound. And then when the valves open, you can, you can hear it, the valves open. All right, so I just wanted to let you see and hear how crazy the difference is between Comfort and RS to like everything in dynamic or everything in comfort. It's really insane that you, you can have this daily driver 1000 horsepower car that's actually perfect to drive every day. And yeah, it's crazy. Oh, that's a very bright sun. Let me just... So the changes that MTM have made, those bigger turbos, the downpipe, the exhaust, and the remap, the air filter, and the air intake, it's not even that much, but they call this stage four. And I, I really think that they were the first ones to break a thousand horsepower because I haven't seen anyone else do it. And I've talked about this in the earlier Audi RS7 review with 750 horsepower. The fact that there is so much reserve in this package. Um, if you unleash this engine, this drivetrain, it's it, all hell breaks loose. I mean, it is in there. The power, the performance, everything you want is in here. It is extractable, but it's just not delivering stock. And that's, that's a shame because I do still think the looks of this car, I mean, it just looks so 
cool. It looks so angry, wide, muscular. And now it sounds like it, the way it looks and it goes the way it looks. Okay, so uh, performance wise, Stock Audi RS6, 0 to 100, 3.6 seconds. This MTM version, 2.8. And it really is 2.8. I checked earlier, verified with Draggy, 2.8 seconds. Now, let's do one. We've been, we can do one here, no one behind me. Foot on the brake, full throttle. There we go. That is so insane. Oh, you're, oh, this massive car is just launched so hard. It is really crazy. Alrighty. So top speed, and I love this about MTM. What do they say about the top speed? Uh, stock, it's 305 kilometers an hour limited, and you need a lot of space to get there. This car, over 350 kilometers an hour according to the tires so they're not saying this is how fast it'll go no they're saying this is how fast the tires can at least go so at least 350 kilometers an hour and when you drive this for five minutes you believe it it's mental how fast this car is that's 300 now it's a little bit wet on the left side here as you can see so we have to be a little careful with that but the guys at MTM have been so kind to ship the cars to us or well ship uh, they were on a truck so we can test our so we can test the cars on our regular Autobahn and uh, well it's snowing uh, back there anyway so it's better to do it here but the weather hasn't been great here either so yeah we just need a bit of space to show you how fast this car is we're at normal motorway speed right now 130 well, 140 whatever okay here we go full throttle Zero to 200, 8.2 seconds, which gives you a 100 to 200 of 5.4, which I've been able to do earlier. We did a 5.3 something. Uh, so it does perform. And the cool thing is, it's really consistent in its performance. I did a few 200 to 300 runs, and every time it did 12.3 something, 200 to 300. So it's really consistent in its performance and uh, delivering that power so we've got a couple of bumps here as you know but I know that this car can over can do that without any trouble Jesus the way this car goes to 300 kilometers an hour is really insane but as you can see it is A little bit too busy to do anything else than this. Well, maybe we can do more now. Yes, we can. something 350 something <laughs> in in an estate car in a station wagon 350 something and it's absolutely no problem absolutely no sweat whatsoever it's so comfortable as i've said before if you put this car in dynamic everything 
and you put it in automatic or comfort well automatic is better at these high speeds for the suspension the dampers it's just magic the way this car handles the autobahn this is what it's been built for by, by audi just hauling ass with all your crap in the back and with this mtm version it's just next level absolutely ridiculous i don't think i've ever gone that fast with such a low heart rate if you know what i mean it is just so easy and you've got those carbon ceramic brakes to depend on and of course you also have mtm to depend on we know that the products that mtm built are good are solid they deliver